Okay, I was just thinking about this earlier. I think if you can't control anything, then you should at least control what is going into your body. Because think about the things that you actually can control. Most of the time, they're very limited. Most of the time, it's a lot of circumstances that you can't do anything about. Like, you can't control what other people are doing. You can't control the economy. You can't control the government. You can't control the air quality. You can't control, like, very, like, the weather. Like, very many things, like, are just out of your control. But there are things that are in your control. What you put in your body. That is one thing that a lot of people give up control over that they should not. Because <coughs> <laughs> that's one thing that is completely in your power but a lot of people relinquish that power because food food companies have found the right combination of salt sugar and fat to keep you hooked and because they keep you hooked they they give people this false illusion illusion of like them not being able to control what goes into their body. They give people this idea of, oh, well, all the food is unhealthy. <coughs> all the food has chemicals. So I might as well just not even try to be healthy, you know? But the fact is, if you try to be healthy, if you look at ingredients, if you look at food labels, it's actually very easy to cut out the bullshit and to just get down to it. To literally just get down to what you need and eat consciously. Just being conscious of the food that you eat can make drastic differences. You don't even need to diet. You don't even need to look at calories. You just need to be conscious. How much protein is in this? How many carbs? How many fats? How much sugar? What are the ingredients? Is it like two or three? Or is it like a bunch of like chemicals, a bunch of stuff I can't even pronounce? This stuff matters. It sounds like it doesn't. It sounds like I'm getting hyper specific, but it matters. Think about this. In the 1960s, people ate a lot more red meat, a lot more butter, a lot more dairy than people today. Yet obesity is through the roof when even though these are the exact foods that are blamed for the obesity epidemic what do you think that is that is because these foods that you've been told are unhealthy are actually scapegoats they're not unhealthy at all they're pretty nutritious foods to be honest with you it's these ingredients that like fluff and puff your food like these fluff ingredients in your food that keep you addicted it's these ingredients that cause all these diseases that cause all this obesity it's these things you need to look at now you might be thinking okay that's great and all how much protein do I take how much um, what ingredients do I need to look out for I'll tell you exactly what to look out for. First of all, protein, you need to prioritize protein in your diet. Protein needs to be like the main macronutrient that you intake. Carbs, you're gonna get a lot of carbs if you eat normally and just watch out for protein. Fats, you're gonna get the right amount of fats if you just watch out for protein. What I recommend is meats, just eat meat. If you're vegan, that's a little bit more difficult. I couldn't really tell you because I'm not vegan. But for my non-vegan people, I really, really recommend just eating meat. Chicken, steak, fish, it's all you need. <clears throat> They're literally natural multivitamins, especially beef liver. Beef liver is a game changer. That's something that I'm getting I'm going to get into personally. 
beef liver is huge um what else as far as ingredients you want to eat foods that only have two to three ingredients ideally just one ideally for example if you're eating a food it should be one ingredient what's the ingredient potatoes steak rice things like that that's what you need to be eating you don't want there to be like a list of like 40 ingredients that's what you don't want you don't want the list to be huge you want the list to be one two or three like max you know something else you don't want soy products soy products are gonna mess up your hormones I know it's a meme about like soy boys and everything there's merit to that soy messes with your hormones it I don't know the exact science so I'm gonna butcher this but just to tell you like a really bare bones version it basically releases this compound in your body that's not estrogen but it acts as estrogen like as a sort of artificial estrogen and because of that your body thinks your estrogen is up here so it down regulates your testosterone so now your body is acting as if it has more estrogen in it and you have lower testosterone it's just a mess so you don't want that so no soy you also don't want seed oils mainly canola oil you do not want canola oil or vegetable oils those oils have been heavily researched and they are shown that they are horrible for your heart they have been shown to cause blindness they have been shown to cause heart disease high blood pressure and basically every single thing that the food industry claims that dairy and red meat do are actually the cause of seed oils which a lot of people tend to cook their meats in which is why meats often get the blame um so that's about it be conscious of your food